first the first thing Eva, I suppose, is uh, the team news for the weekend. Sorry. The team news for the weekend. Is anybody, every, everyone's available? Uh, like, the thing is, like, uh, for this match, mm -hmm. we have two players that were injured available. Uh, Georgia, Teams, and uh, Kerry. That before they were <laughs> they were not available. Like we have practically full squad. Like just the long term injuries, Carly and Georgia Hunter. That is all year practically they are out. Naomi that uh, still is injured. Hope not too much long, but the rest is everybody available. And it's a big game this weekend. Do you prepare? Uh, sorry, do you prepare for Edinburgh derbies any any differently from other matches? No. <laughs> no, like like um, every week is we had the same way to work, mm -hmm. the same uh, structure of training, we the same meetings. Like we don't do anything special this week. We work so hard every week, um, and this week is not being different. No, the only thing that I try this week talk with them is about the emotional part. Mm -hmm a mental part maybe you need like a extra preparation in terms of that but in terms of football game plan is every week the same and what about yourself do you, do you prepare any differently um no obviously you know you're playing in the home stadium you're playing in front of a big big crowd and yeah you know i think you just have to go in with it with the same mindset it's a league game at the end of the day and we just want to get the three points so i think that's our main focus try not think too much on the occasion seems like it could be a, a decent crowd again. Is, does, does that play a part at all? Yeah, I think it helps us. You know, I think the fans will push us on. We'll want to try and perform in front of them. We'll try and give them the result that they deserve. And if they're coming out to see us, we want to perform well for them. So, yeah, I think obviously it'll play a part. But at the end of the day, if we just focus on our football, then you don't know what will happen. Quite tight at the top of the league as well. How, how important is this match for those ambitions of the club? Yeah, you know, we've got our own ambitions that we spoke about at the start of the season. So obviously three points are important. Every game we want to go into and we want to get those three points. So the Hibs game will be no different. We know they're going to be a tough opponent and um, they're not going to roll over for us, especially because they're coming here. They'll want to put on a show and yeah, you know, we'll want to do the same and we'll want to get the three points. Must you feel confident after a 9-0 victory last time out? What, sorry? Must you feel confident after a 9-0 victory last time out? Yeah, you know, that obviously brings confidence into us and, you know, a lot of different goal scorers have got a good game plan, you know, different players getting game time and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's important for us to get those victories, but, you know, it's going to be a different kind of game. It's not going to be it's not going to be a 9-0. It's going to be close and, you know, we're going to have to go in with confidence if you want to get those three points. And Eva, how is the squad feeling ahead of the game? Yeah, like, as I say, for the moment, I feel like a normal week, like, they are training so hard. Uh, yesterday we had a really good session, um, and I feel them happy and I'm feeling comfortable. And what would it mean to get another derby victory this season? Obviously, one last time at Easter Road, so to win two in a row would be a good thing for the team this season. Yeah, like last time we won the derby, of course, we're three points, but one there was so special for the first time, no? Um, and win here in our stadium then can be more special, of course. Have your ambitions for the season for Hearts changed over, uh, given the, the start that you guys have made to the season? No, it doesn't change because um, I always say like we had to go week per week mm -hmm. and uh, try every week, like work hard, get the three points and see where we can go, no? like. We never specify an objective. Yeah, we know uh, that we don't be we, we we want to be pushing high on the table, but we didn't specify too much uh, mm -hmm. because you never know, no. And and the important thing is is be there, not a point different like previous season with the yeah. best teams in the league. We want to be with them, and that is what we have clear. Did you expect it to be so tight at the top this season? No one point, uh, I, I say before, of course, you, you don't expect be just one point different, mm -hmm. but I expect it be so close, of course. Yeah. Bailey, for you, a, a first, obviously, you're on the bench the, the last time, hopefully, 
get on the pitch this day? How much are you looking forward to your first experience of the Edinburgh Derby? <clears throat> yeah, you know, I think a lot of people speak about it in the team. It's a big occasion, obviously, playing Hibs versus Hearts, you know, doesn't get that much bigger in Edinburgh. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to play in front of the fans. I'm excited for a big crowd and hopefully excited to get on the pitch and if I score, even better. In terms of the, the season so far, of course, you've scored plenty of goals, but you've also had a, a wee bit of injury kind of troubles as well throughout the season so far. How would you assess it so far? Yeah, you know, the start of the season was difficult for me. Obviously, moving club, you want to make an impact as soon as possible. Um, so being out injured was difficult, but I worked hard and, you know, I'm trying to make that impact in the team. I'm trying to make my place in the team and, you know, I'm just trying to do well for the team, get goals, you know, get three points and that's the most important thing for me. And how great is it to have these games played at Tynecastle and Easter Road? Yeah, you know, it's so important. It's credit to both teams, obviously, for letting us play at both big stadiums and it's credit to the fans for coming out and we want to get as many fans there as possible. We want to show that women's football is growing and we want to put on a good show for them. What would your message be to, to fans who perhaps haven't bought tickets yet? Yeah, I think you should buy tickets. Obviously, they're free, so why would you not come? And, you know, it'll be a good game. The last time it was 4-0, so obviously, if we can get a game like that again for us, then that's important in front of our home fans, and we want to try and get as many fans back as possible. Ava, looking at the, the previous derbies that we've played at Tynecastle, it's probably an argument to say that we haven't quite played as, as well as we could possibly have played. What's the kind of message going into this game? Yeah, I think that I feel the group this time more prepared in terms of mentally, in terms of play than previous years, um, especially mentally, because previous years, I think that was a mental thing every time that we were playing here. Emotions were too much and that affect our performance. But I have totally confidence that this time is going to be totally different. Yeah, another big summer upheaval, of course, and plenty of new arrivals, a lot of experience with that as well. I don't mm -hmm. like to single out individuals, but likes of Lisa Robertson, Lauren Wade, these players that have played at international level in the stadiums. Yeah, th that helped, no? But uh, still, I feel like the <coughs> young players we have this season, they are so much uh, more ready in terms of mentally. Uh, for that, I have totally trust in the team. What do you expect from Hibs on Sunday? Yeah, they will come so, so strong. Uh, of course, with less pressure because they are playing away. But I feel like it's going to be a really good game. Uh, everything can happen.